Minister Plevitas, colleagues, friends, I am truly happy to be back for my fifth Health World Conference. Under the fantastic leadership of the Hellenic American Chamber of Commerce, this conference has become a truly important venue for us to engage with each other on critical public health challenges. And I really want to thank you, Elias, Nico, as always, for being such great partners and for convening such an impressive group of panelists and speakers. So much has happened since we last met. When I was in Washington, D.C. two weeks ago for the latest U.S.-Greece strategic dialogue, we had an all-star team present from the Greek government. And I was struck there by the continued dramatic growth in the breadth and depth of our trade and investment relationship, even through the past year and a half of the pandemic. Healthcare cooperation is a critical topic under the trade and investment pillar of the strategic dialogue. And I'm very proud that through that mechanism, we've been able to foster increased dialogue between industry and our respective governments. And thanks to that dialogue, we continue to make progress. On areas like healthcare financing, incentivizing research and clinical trials, and digitization of healthcare services. Most critically, of course, since the last Health World Conference, we now have a stable supply of highly effective COVID-19 vaccines developed by American companies, including Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, and Moderna. These are key to enabling our societies to move past the pandemic. And this remarkable success of vaccine research, manufacturing, and distribution is almost miraculous and is a reminder of the life-changing impact of research-based pharmaceutical innovation and the true value of industry and government working together to accomplish big things. But our work doesn't end with vaccine deployment in Greece and the United States. We cannot end the pandemic until we have built a wall of immunity around the world. And last month, President Biden convened a global COVID-19 summit to focus on building back better global health security. The summit participants set ambitious targets including support for the World Health Organization's goal to vaccinate at least 40 percent of the global population by the end of 2021 and 70 percent by the time of the United Nations General Assembly in 2022. The summit also called for surges in oxygen supplies for inpatient, inpatient health facilities, PPE manufacturing capacity, and improvements in the detection and monitoring of new variants. Finally, the summit called for targets to improve the global health system, including the establishment of sustainable health security financing and increasing political leadership and attention to biological crises. These are all areas where the United States and Greece are working together. And I was very glad that Prime Minister Mitsotakis was able to participate also in the summit, where he emphasized that Greece's priorities are very similar to those that I've just described. We're also working with the U.S. Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta to expand ties with the Hellenic National Public Health Organization and to share information and best practices more closely something the minister and I were able to discuss just a few weeks ago. But governments cannot solve health challenges alone. We, not, we need our partners in the private sector and in academia. Many of you in this room and listening online have been working tire, tirelessly over the past 18 months to bolster the health care system participate in COVID-19 research and treatment, and strengthen Greece's health care response. I want to thank you all for your outstanding work and commitment. 
As I said last year at this conference, the global health crisis has strengthened and validated the partnership between our two countries, as evidenced by the many AmCham companies that have stepped up to help the Greek government and private sector to respond to the pandemic, including Abbott, Cisco, Microsoft, Oracle, IBM, and Invipco. Looking beyond the pandemic, we need to build on this momentum to raise our ambition and increase innovation and bilateral investment. I just came from an extremely productive discussion that Minister Plevitas had with AmCham's health care committees. And I know that AmCham is eager to partner with the government on policies that will further stimulate investment, research, development, and economic growth, not to mention improving the health and lives of Greek citizens. American healthcare companies like Merck, GE, AbbVie, and Bristol-Myers Squid are at the forefront of the latest medicines and tools to combat chronic diseases. U.S. innovators are using and developing cutting-edge technologies like AI, big data analytics, and genetic research to create the next generation antimicrobials to ameliorate Alzheimer's disease and develop vaccines for unknown threats yet to come. Greece is an ideal partner, an ideal environment in which to develop these new technologies and solutions. The Pfizer Center for Digital Innovation, recently inaugurated by Albert Bourla and Prime Minister Mitsotakis in Thessaloniki, is a prime example of this dynamic. Investments like these create economic growth, reverse brain drain, and contribute to global public health. In addition to advancing innovation in new pharmaceuticals and medical devices, the continued digitization of healthcare services is an area where I see significant potential for our bilateral cooperation. In this regard, I want to congratulate the government, especially Minister Perakakis, Minister Plevitas, and before him, Minister Kikilius, for treating the pandemic, even though it was a time of great crisis, also as an opportunity to improve services to the public and reduce bureaucracy through digital technology. American companies like Google, Palantir, and AWS have shown how secure, transparent access to data and services can inform government policies, improve interactions with citizens, and increase efficiency. And I should add in this regard, I am still struck by the number of Greek citizens who have told me how miraculous they found it, that their embolio appointments showed up as if like magic on their telephones, and that their vaccination certificates followed as soon as they had completed their second vaccination. Greece is changing. U.S. companies will continue to help drive the digital revolution here as Greece rolls out electric medical files, electronic medical files, and expands the electronic prescription service, among other world-leading initiatives. As Greece continues to distinguish itself as a forward-leaning, innovation and investment-friendly market for healthcare companies, I know that more of America's leading pharmaceutical, medical device, and technology companies will take notice and begin to call Greece home, just as Pfizer has done with its significant new investment in Thessaloniki. We are not out of the pandemic yet but we can see the light at the end of the tunnel, and we know exactly what we need to do to get there. It will take all of us, governments, researchers, and industry, working together to meet that goal. And working together, I'm confident that our countries will be safer and prosperous as a result. I wish you all great success with Health World 2021 and look forward to hearing about the outcome of these discussions and the continued results of the fruitful dialogue between the MCHAM Healthcare Committees, Minister Plevitas, and his team at the Ministry. Evhari Stopoli.